Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video I will show you the usual configuration settings for any game if you have AMD GPU or Nvidia GPU so let's get started guys I have many and different solutions of this problem so do not skip any part of this video go to emulation and configuration and go to general tab and go to limit speed percentage so I have already selected 1000% from here so if you select 1000% uh, from your user emulator limit speed percent then you can face uh, many issues for your any game on startup on launching on your user emulator so I don't recommend 1000% change from here so I decrease it from here so you need to select 100% from here and ok and uh, if you want more settings for your user configuration go to emulation and configuration and go to system so already selected by default do not change any settings from here go to CPU and it's very important thing over here if you have uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 game uh, in your uh, user emulator if you want to play Luigi's Mansion 3 then you can choose uh, uh, unsafe from here instead of auto this unsafe option can uh, help you to run uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 in your user emulator smoothly but if you have another game then you can select from here auto many games work with auto options if you select unsafe then you can face a lot of issues uh, with unsafe options in general tab cpu but if you have luigi's mansion 3 then you can use this option from here but i have another game so i select auto and go to graphic settings and over here you can see these options uh, already selected by default do not change any settings from here and some games work with Vulkan and some games work with OpenGL so you can try these options one by one if you want to use OpenGL then select OpenGL and select from here uh, this one GL, ASM and Media only and after loading share screen you can select from here GLSL if you select this one with OpenGL then you can face many issues uh, uh, loading shares on your user emulator so you can select this one GLSL but if you want more performance more FPS and if you want to fix lag issues then you can select from here Vulkan because Vulkan is better than OpenGL after selecting Vulkan, you can select your GPU device. If you have multiple GPU devices, then you can choose your uh, more powerful GPU device from here. But I have uh, only one GPU device uh, already installed in my PC. So after selecting your GPU device, select your GPU video decoding default. If you have external GPU then select uh, GPU video decoding default. If you have internal GPU then you can select CPU video decoding. But I have external GPU so this is why I choose GPU video decoding. Guys do not skip this part of this video. I wanna show you something important over here. So you can select from here this one and resolution scale if you have more powerful GPU then you can change your resolution scale from here but I have a simple GPU so this is why I cannot choose uh, and select this uh, resolution scale 2x or 3x I show you my native resolution uh, from my uh, GPU device uh, I mean graphics card so this is my graphics card I go to my NVIDIA control panel go to uh, display option and change resolution so you can see this is my native uh, resolution scale so this is why I can choose uh, 1x 720 by 1080p if you have native resolution like this 1080p 
then you can change your resolution skill from your user emulator you can select this one or this one but i don't recommend this resolution scale uh, because uh, i have native resolution this one now i close it and uh, after selecting your resolution scale you can choose uh, amd super resolution from here if you have amd uh, gpu graphics card and uh, one more important thing if you want to use the vulcan with your gpu device then make sure you have latest version drivers for your gpu device and go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager so device manager control panel and go to display adapter and right click and properties and drivers now you can see driver date and driver version so i am using latest version drivers in 2023 for my gp device if you have oldest version drivers then please update your drivers for your gp device it's very important guys if you have oldest version drivers then you can face a lot of issues low performance low fps in your user emulator then please upgrade ours for your gpu device first now go to advanced settings and you need some more settings from here over here guys you can see the record astc texture if you are facing crashing issue low performance low fps issues then you can uh, uh, uncheck this option and if you have a black screen issue or textures uh, glitches then you can use this option but i don't recommend this option because i want to get more fps more performance for my user emulator so uncheck this option and check these options from here if you are using Vulkan from here and and over here if you have a more powerful gpu then you can select high but i have a simple gpu so this is why i select normal but you can choose high from here and uncompressed press quality and uh, ok and select from here automatic do not select any uh, 2x or 4x so select automatic and go to audio options and select auto from here and controls so you can select handheld mode or dock mode in some games you can select handheld handheld mode uh, can help you uh, to get more performance and to get more fps so select handheld mode so you can try these options one by one so i select handheld and okay and uh, if you have a windows 10 or 11 then right click and go to display settings if you want to get more performance more fps and uh, graphics and remove your old application file so this is my uh, oldest version user emulator so i remove my uh, old application file from here and browse and make sure guys you have a latest version uh, user emulator from here so this is my new user emulator so go to file and application file add options and options and high performance and save and close it so i'm using user early access uh, 3754 in 2023 if you have oldest version uh, user emulator then you can face a lot of issues if you want to play new games in your uh, oldest version user emulator if you want to play new games then you'll need new user emulator do not forget about it guys and if you want more settings for your user emulator with your uh, GPU device then you'll need uh, some more settings for your uh, NVIDIA control panel and if you have uh, AMD GPU then you can change your settings from your AMD control panel so go to manage 3D settings and scroll down and over here you can see vertical sync uh, should be off so already selected off from here and power management mod maximum performance and textual filtering quality high performance and Vulkan or OpenGL and select this one and OpenGL running GPU select your GPU device from here and click on apply 
and go to adjust damage settings and select performance from here and check this option and apply now go to configure surround select your GP device from here and you can select your internal GPU or external GPU so I have external GPU so I select this one uh, yeah this one apply and uh, go to manage three settings again and select your uh, program settings add options and browse and go to your uh, user emulator right click and open file location and select your application file open and apply now it's done guys now your uh, user configuration settings are completed and after these settings you can fix uh, all issues and many issues for your user emulator so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe to my this channel and thanks for watching see you in the next video guys bye bye